that's the official right there, that burgundy and gold, Georgia Perimeter College food. Man, look at the trophies, I can see him. I'm just standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon, like, I just wanna feel this up with money. Huh. Yeah, huh. see my wrist on freeze. Yeah. freeze. Yeah, see my neck gon' freeze. Yeah, you ain't getting none of these, though. You ain't getting none of these. Yeah, pocket filled with G's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't talking about Gucci. Yeah. I ain't talking about Louis. Yeah, I got my own shit. Yeah, yeah. nigga. <laughs> yeah. I built my own brand, yeah, fuck that bro, damn, nigga, I'm my own man, nigga, 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 huh, man, listen, 4G, I was on all the cars, I did it back to back to back to back, I had four whips, nigga, talking about 100,000 on that, yeah, track hawk, look at me, whoa, fireball down the street, fuck it, then I sold that bitch, yeah, for a couple extra G's, whoa, nigga. Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here, we in ATL, man, um, Hope everybody keeping it pure, positive, and prophetic. We on the move, working, doing what I'm supposed to do. On the way to go pick up my um, my car while I'm here. Y'all see what I get when I get there, man. But um, yeah, a lot of rest. These three hour jumps, it's weird to me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's three hours ahead here in, in California, so it's a weird feeling. But now I'm regenerated. I can move around a little bit. I think I'm gonna go check out my um, my old college. I ain't, I ain't really been back there since I've been out of college. Shit, you don't know that been decades ago. So I think that'd be pretty cool to see. Shit, was well, like 2001, like 2021. Goddamn, 20 years ago. I'm an old motherfucker. But uh, it'd be good to see it. You know what I mean? Cause I had a good time there. It actually saved my life really. Cause I didn't know what I was gonna do when I left high school. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really get my scholarship till like two weeks before school started. So. It, was, it really saved me, man. Put me on the right trajectory to be where I'm at now. So it'd be dope to see it now as a grown, successful, legendary individual I became. Even though I knew I was going to become it, but I actually became it. Because I got off my ass and took that leap of faith and went to a school and to a place I'd never been before. Sight unseen. Um, just so happened it was the number two juco in the nation at the time. So it was a blessing. And uh, I told the story before, but I could tell some more once I get there and get up in this truck and all that. So um, appreciate y'all for working with the campaign. You already know what it is, man. When ATL short, yeah, I love Atlanta, man. Three up. Three up the guard. Big dog shit on Big it, man. Shit. Hell yeah, who look at you? What's up, Slim? Slim, 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 Whole lot of horses. All right, man, you see what's going on. Big ring for me. Can you step up in there? Yeah. Hey, for King. Start this mission, man. Let's go for it. All right, have no fear, have no fear. Mr. Organic is here. You know, I got another Wrangler move. This joint is all souped up. All type of extra lights and components. You know what I'm saying? I really ain't gonna use none of this shit. This is something to ride around while I'm here. You know what I mean? I, I don't like depending on no Ubers and all that shit. That shit is irritating to me. And they gotta drop you off, leave you type. You gotta sit there and wait on them. Nah, I need to be moving around, man. I gotta be activated wherever I'm at, so. This is like one of the calm. I like when I go out of town like these calm SUVs, calm shit like that. Nothing too crazy, especially in places I don't know. You know what I'm saying the terrain and all that. I just can't. I don't like being some extra flashy that's not mine. The cities I'm not at. Just in case I gotta bust a move, I gotta <laughs> crash that motherfucker. Shit me. But um, yeah. First and foremost, we're gonna head over to my old school. Like I said, this um, it was real sentimental to me because it gave me um a way out gave me a way out from from nothing to make myself something so it's a blessing to have the opportunity especially like the circumstances I was in I really played that much in high school and stuff like that so to go to the number two junior college in the nation was a blessing it was 32 and 1 when I got to the school they only lost one game and that was in a championship game and they actually lost to Steve Francis as junior college team. so it's a top level school that was a legendary opportunity that presented itself for me and I took full advantage of it so shout out to my coach, Coach Barney, for allowing me to have an opportunity. My guy, Derek Lyons, who gave that call and vouched for me. And uh, shout out to my dog, Will Harris, that uh, if I won out of this basketball camp with him, this never would have happened. So blessings, no blessings, no blessings, no blessings. So it's going to be cool to see it as a grown man 20 years later, still looking good, still get that damn 360 dunk, still could cross niggas over, do all that if I want to. Still score, four, score 40 on the nigga right now if I want to. Ain't that crazy? Most of y'all could not at this age. <laughs> 
three of them to God. It's only one of these, man. The organic one. Three of them. Big flash of the road, man. That's the cater. Oh, yeah. Big shop to Cab Mall, man. Let's go to this motherfucker every day. Especially when we got them financial goddamn aid checks, boy. Shush. Let's be up in there. Spending all our financial check, aid check the first day. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a hood ass mall, but we was in there with some hood ass niggas, man. Shout out to all my niggas, man. I think I'm gonna see if my apartment's still down there, too. I'm just gonna drive through it, motherfucker, real quick. Man. <laughs> Come on, brother. I don't know where this shit is at. You know what I'm saying? Run some niggas over. But yeah, we should live like right on that street down there. Right, like a little bit, basically across the street from the mall. We just go there every day in them apartments, man. Potments, they call them, man. The potments, man. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna check them out real quick, man. Three of them, God. Yeah, man, we still live in these apartments down here for sure. Straight down here, pull in. We was right here in the back room. Crazy. Shout out to my dog Robot, man. All right, Pete, he should be a. He became a wrestler. Damn, I dropped my damn phone. He should live on these motherfuckers. Look at my roommate. That's all he wanted to be is a goddamn wrestler, man. And he became one. They shortened him up, though. It was more buildings, but now it's just like two rows. It was like four rows before, though. But now it's just two. It's crazy. 20 years ago, man. I remember these apartments very well, man. You know I'm saying a lot of great adventures in there, man. I remember somebody broke in our apartment, stole everybody's clothes and shoes and shit. That shit was fucked up. Where my damn phone at? Now that shit was whack, I ain't gonna lie. Motherfucker broke into our goddamn apartment and stole all that shit, man. Ain't that something? You thieving ass motherfucker. Who was that? Who was you, man? Why you do that? You know what I'm saying? Some great times, though. A whole lot of goddamn talking about each other, a whole lot of chilling, a whole lot of growth though. That was like my first, you know what I'm saying, time living living by myself. But so I know, I mean, really, I, I was in high school, I lived with my brother, you know what I'm saying? We had our own little trap spot. So I've been like on my own, really shout out to my mom, but she knew I was different. She knew I had to do my own thing. So like from 50, 15 on, I was basically grown man. I have my own spot, doing what, doing what I do, get money. That's it. Get money, play ball. That's all I ever know how to do. You know what I'm saying? Get money, hustle, man. Straight up. Get money, hustle, play some motherfucking ball, man. Shout out to ATL, show yeah. Now we're gonna pull up to the goddamn school. Damn! See that right there, man, people. There's that Georgia Perimeter College. It ain't even called Georgia Perimeter College no more. It's called Georgia State University, Decatur Campus, whatever it is. That's the official right there, that Burgundy and Gold, Georgia Perimeter College, fool. That's that motherfucker right there, man. Can't believe I found that little sign up. But let me show you the, um, I think it's, it's Sunday, so I think, you know what I'm saying, I can't go inside, but I wanted to show the gym. So I might got to come back tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, when I'm before or after I'm done shooting. Because I got to see the gym. See our banners up there and all that. Well, they might even got my picture still up in that motherfucker shit. They need to. God. I still got my goddamn, they have my goddamn statue in this bitch, tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? I was all conference, all tournament team. You know what I'm saying? On my on my Al Bundy shit. You know what I'm saying? All that count. But what you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. Come where I come from, everything count. I need to count all my wins. I don't need nobody to tell me that I tell I tell y'all. <laughs> Nobody gotta tell me. I'ma let you know. But let me go around to the front. But yeah, that's the school right here. You know what I mean? But the main part is you pulling at the bottom. So we go to the bottom. Then I walk up the stairs. You to walk down every day for that 5 a.m. training. You know what I'm saying? It was it was hectic, but it was serious business. See, that's what I'm saying. And now they changed it to like Georgia State University Decatur campus. So it's like a minor of Georgia State, which is actually a big school. They made it like a small subsidiary of um, Georgia State University, which it wasn't. It was called Georgia Perimeter College, like the sign I showed you in the back, man. GPC. Go hard or go home, man. Shout out to my dog, 
to Coach Barney, man. I pull around this motherfucker, man. Coach Barney was a mean motherfucker, but it was a cool motherfucker, too. Crazy thing about it, too, my brother, shout out to my brother Lawrence, he ended up playing Georgia Perimeter in, like, the Sweet 16 in Hutchinson out there in Kansas where, like, the top junior colleges in the nation play in the Elite 16 of the entire nation. His team ended up playing Georgia Perimeter years down the line, and uh, he played against Coach Barney. And then he went up to Coach Barney like, hey, you know, my brother's, uh, my brother was Jarvis. He's like, what? God damn, he said, man, why the fuck? Why the fuck you ain't come? Why the fuck you ain't come to this goddamn school, man? My brother's legendary. I should come down this way, baby. But, yeah, so that's a crazy little, little story. But let me show y'all this right here. Now, look over here. This is the parking lot we had to run every fucking morning and afternoon. This whole parking lot. Look how big this motherfucker is, man. And this is Atlanta where it's hot than a bitch. We had to run this entire parking lot four times. You know what I'm saying? Four times. Look how big this motherfucker is, man. It be, it be 90 degrees, 95 degrees. We got to run around this whole motherfucker four times before we start practice in, a, in the morning and before we start the practice in the afternoon. In the spring training. That shit used to be crazy, dog. Niggas used to be dead. I used to be dead. Knees used to be swollen, but we'll get through it, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to get through it, though. We got to run this motherfucker every fucking day, twice a day. Man, we had serious training. I mean, like, dog, it was it was no joke. It was serious, man. It made us warriors, though. It made us real, real deal killers, though. I ain't going to lie. It put us in a whole different perspective. For real. Straight up and down, man. So let me park this motherfucker. I want to go up in this motherfucker, man. So I go up these stairs. I remember them goddamn stairs too. Cause then after you get done running, doing all this shit, you gotta go up these goddamn stairs. Like, goddamn, kidding me? I think I'm tired as fuck. I gotta run up these goddamn puss ass stairs. Yup. Gotta, gotta walk up the stairs. That's when you be the most tired. So let's see about these stairs, man. Hurry up. Yeah, man, this this the parking lot. We start here and we go that way. Shoo, you gotta run around the whole parking lot four times. Four times in that hot ass sun, dog. That's crazy. You be done, you be tired. Walking back up this way. You see, ain't no water fountains or nothing out here, man. Ain't nothing. You gotta walk up these stairs. Exhausted. Knees hurt. But you know, you did that work, so it was worth it. The show was worth it, though. Everybody tried to act like they was hurt. I remember I used to try to act like I was hurt. Ah, oh, my knees. I can't run, but I didn't walk it then. You gonna, you gonna have to walk it then or something. You know what I'm saying? So, crazy to be here now. These same steps. Gonna walk these steps, man. Now I walk it as a millionaire. Now I walk these steps as a real baller. You hear me? Ha! Came to be a baller, and guess what? I, I left ass. Huh, baller. Came back ass. Huh. Big baller, nigga. What are you talking about? Real God, man. The prophecy. You know They go to the gym though. Man, look at the trophies. I can see them. I can see them, man. I know they got our trophies out there because we got something, man. Guarantee our trophies right there. That's a gym right there. I got to come back though. Got to come back. We will. Three of them are gone. No, I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough that you, you do it in spite of the fear. Oh, no! Gotta believe, uh, gotta believe, gotta believe, gotta believe, uh, gotta believe, gotta believe, yeah, gotta believe, uh, gotta believe, gotta believe, gotta believe, uh, gotta believe, gotta believe, yeah. My favorite quote, you hear it all the time. Believe in yourself. Like you believe in God Take leaps of faith 
Invest in yourself, you gotta cultivate your crops before you spread the wealth Yeah, before you harvest fruits, you gotta spread the seeds Make sure everybody around you get to get a piece You can't teach a man to feast if he never eat You gotta teach him how to plant before a nigga eat uh, The losses come with wins, you can't pretend It's not all sunny days, the clouds will come within Pesticide for locusts, gotta be ferocious You gotta keep that gun on you, coyotes be lurking uh, Be a wolf, never be a sheep I'm Moses in this prime, follow my lead I'm walking through the desert, I got God with me I got no fear of him, is y'all hearing me? See them little niggas working, man niggas, <laughs> They go them infamous water boys, man They right there on that corner where your ass got to stop at, man They ain't playing, look at them you know what I mean? They could be your friends or they could be enemies, man. You want them to be your friends. They working hard for the most part. Most of them are good guys, man. You got some extra change, just throw it to them. But they don't be wanting no change. They be wanting harness. They be, especially you got a good car or they know you. They gonna want them good harness. See, I ain't, I ain't got no cash on them, man. I ain't got some cash up or something, boom, but. You know what I'm saying? Look, he working, look, look. He ain't playing. Look, he going the other way. This nigga's serious, man. They walking all the way down. Them boys go hard, man. Salute them. The good ones, man. Don't, but y'all just can't be rampaging people whips and all that. But getting your hustle on and standing out there, giving out the waters, or just trying to get the hustle out, I, I salute you. But make sure they, you know what I'm saying, capitalize on that money they do get and use that to, you know, build a clothing brand or build a, get some products or do something outside of that so you can get off that corner and really make a brand out of it. I mean, I think they got like shirts and hats, some of them doing stuff like that. So I think that's dope too. So utilize that money to something else more than just stay on that corner because, you know, that's dangerous and it's not um, it's not always a positive outcome when you're out there like that. It just is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, but I salute them though, the ones that do it the right way. I understand the hustle, but make sure we're safe and doing, you know what I'm saying, staying positive while doing that shit. For real. There you go. Big head ass there you go. I'm just type, you know. Everything they gotta do with greatness. Put me right there. Type great. <laughs> Type legendary. <laughs> Type historical. I mean, the God. I'm type that nigga. I'm type that nigga. I'm type that nigga. Yeah, I'm type this shit. You type ain't shit. I told you this. Yeah, I'm type really rich. You type really broke. I'm type really broke. Damn, I'm type really that. I'm type all that. I'm type matter of fact. I'm type really king. I'm type on the throne. I'm type all alone. I type stand tall, I type give a fuck, I type really don't You a begging that nigga, you ain't got shit, you bones in my mind You can't get none, because I did it all by my own Yeah, I'm type really on the top, I'm type really not giving a fuck I type do it, yeah, you type really ain't on shit You type ain't got shit, you drop a Buick I'm yeah. type really by my mama, Benz, I type really by my mama How else what you do though? You ain't doing shit, dawg, you still putting your name on Having no fear, Mr. Organic back here at the room, um Legendary times, just to reflect and see where I came from. And I truly came to Atlanta with like a whole hope of just uh, belief and hoping something could happen. You know what I'm saying? I have faith that if I just worked hard, I could find my way up out of here. But um, it was a blessing. You know what I mean, for real, like going to that school truly changed my life because, like I said, it was only like a two week period before school started. I didn't know where I was going to go. And I, and, I, and I put it all on the line and betted that I would find a good school turned down little schools and the, and the schools I didn't want to go to with no other options. And I, I put it all in and uh, God blessed me. Went out to this camp with my, with my dog, Will Harris. Met my guy, Derek Lyons, and my dog, dog Sharika Shai. They um, gave a call to Coach Barney. It's the number one junior college in the nation. People can make fun of it, all oh, junior college, but anybody knows basketball that's serious when you don't have your grades right to go to a top level junior college is, is a blessing. And uh, they was number two, and they only lost one game. So for them to set me with their last scholarship, sight unseen, just off the word of mouth, was a blessing. I came here and did my thing. I started both years, was all conference, all tournament team. We made it to the, um, we won our conference both years, and uh, lost in the, the district one year. Then the second year, we made it all the way to the Sweet 16 at Hutchinson, and um, I did great there. First game had 26 points. I think the next game had like you know 22 or something like that. So I did good, but we lost and made it to the Elite Eight. So from a person who just, all he did was believe in himself, no one really put me in that position. Um, I just worked hard, man, and never gave up. And look how far it got me. And uh, that was a big accomplishment for me. 
and I enjoy my time here. So Atlanta plays a very, very, you know, pivotal role in my life as well as Phoenix. But this really started my 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 um, growth to, to you know success and really just putting it all online and truly having faith in myself and believing in myself and knowing that I was right and I had to give a fuck what others thought. And uh, so shout out to Atlanta, shout out to Georgia Perimeter College GPC. Um, definitely was excited to see to go back. I ain't been here and been there in 20 years, so. I didn't forget how fast time is, man. So the seed of the day is, man, you know, um, appreciate time. It goes fast, man. Wherever you at right now in life, just appreciate the journey. Don't try to fast forward because you never know where it's going to go. And don't try to rewind time because that's impossible. So just enjoy the time you have currently. You know, embrace that journey and enjoy that process because you, you never know where you're going to be in 20 years. 20 years went fast to me. But thank God, you know what I'm saying? Thank to you guys, I became a success. I can come back here as a successful man and encourage people and uh, motivate people and inspire people. So if a kid like me was in the position I was in, they could look at me now and be like, man, if he never gave up, all he did is believe in himself, put it online, look where he at, I can do it too. So I wish it was a me when I was younger, but I got me to give to y'all straight up. So you see where I came from, you see where I'm at. The God himself, shout out to Georgia Premier College, shout out to Atlanta. So now for the marinade of my glory, get ready for my action shit tomorrow. I'm going over my lives rigorously. So, man, wish me nothing but luck. You know what I'm saying? Like, as they say in the acting world, <laughs> break a leg, you bitch. Damn. Semo sem. Semo sem. Semo sem. Semo sem. Whole lot of horses. Whole lot of horses. Whole lot of horses. Whole lot of horses. SRT. SRT. Supercharge me. Supercharge me. Semo sem. Semo sem. Whole lot of horses. Ten years. Whole lot of horses. Young master.